Okay, let's take a test drive. 2022 Toyota New Sienta. It's the great 1.5 liter hybrid front wheel drive model. I am Ken Daddy, and you're watching Dandy Family Car. Now let's get in. At first, the door grip is confusing, but once you get used to it, it's easy to close. Then start the engine, ig... Where? Oh, here. Hiding. Ignite! Hmm, that's cool. Now it's time to go. My first impression when it moves on, it's like, no comment. Very smooth and quiet as usual Toyota. I have no complaints, so I mean no comment. I'll tell you more about the right here later. First, let's pick up a few points about utilities. Inside the car, there are many tray and cup holders. The two-tone parts are also stylish and well-spent money. Ooh, there are hidden compartments in the dashboard. Maybe James Bond will hide a pistol in here. Uh, well, a 007 riding Sienta would be a bad looking. As an option, the windshield can be IR and UV cut glasses. This is great for the beauty conscious mom, and it also protects dad's arms. You see, in midsummer, the IR rays can get quite hot on the arms. I revealed in the previous chapter that the touch feel of the seat was not so good. Somehow, there was a reason. Toyota the first with deodorant, water, and oil repellent fabric. Aha, uh -huh, I see. With this, when you are driving, you'll be able to respond without hesitation and someone says, I smell my juice in the back. Hmm, it's a good dandy point. Next, the visibility. As I said in the previous chapter, the visibility is great. The eye point is high and the triangular window and slender A-pillar doing a good job. Above all, the panoramic view with the sea strew is uh, fantastic. The steering view is still light and smooth. However, the response is not as quick as usual. The, the emphasis is on easy to drive for everyone. Hmm. To be honest, not so exciting. I, I think I don't trust anyone who reviews any car and always says, Oh, this is fun to drive on the winding road. Hmm, that, that was crazy, uh, unbelievable kind of thumbnail. Yeah, YouTube specific stuff. Then throttle and brake. Acceleration to start out. Yeah, it's good. There is no stress at all. Since it is hybrid, so powerful enough for uphill. The electric motor is a great assist master. It nicely compensates for the weak points of the engine performance. Therefore, it's very easy to accelerate from the mid-speed range, such as from 50 to 100 km per hour. It feels more like become a all-around performance rather than more powerful one. But on the other hand, this car is not good at sudden acceleration. If you set the power mode, you will not feel a sense of more power. The battery is not a bipolar system, but a nickel metal hydride battery, so it's impossible to have the acceleration feeling like an EV, no matter how much you try. Well, I don't think this is a disadvantage. Yeah, this is a family car. <laughs> Do I need to review the brake touch anymore? Just like Toyota car in recent years. It's very delicate, very delicate, like adolescent boy's heart. It can accelerate like hovercraft, it can also stop with a swoosh. And uh, next, uh, about the right gear. The suspension has a nice and smooth ride with a sense of stroke, designed to give the impression of luxury car, so it's even harder to feel the power. The dumping control function makes acceleration very gentle, very gentle. But I do feel a slight rear micro vibration in my leg and hip, though at the level it's not unpleasant. Uh, am I saying this every time I test drive the Toyota's car? The hip something problem due to the rigid body. Hmm, how can I let it go well? Air suspension or something? I swung it a little. Well, the center of gravity is still high compared to the sedan or something. But thanks to the mild steering view, it doesn't feel dangerous. Hmm, yes, it's a good balance. Now, this new Sienta, everyone know that it will sell like hotcakes. But why? Why is the Sienta 
attracting so much attention. The previous generation Shirenta was, I'd like a cool car like Prius or Crown, but I'm going to have a baby, so I'll have to put up with sliding doors. Mm, but all minivan looks alike, and compact minivan looks ugly. Hey, what that? This Sienta has very sharp and unique design. Hmm, this one might be cool. Well, okay, I'll take it. In the end, it was a big hit, striking a chord with father who was troubled by the question. I got the impression that this new Sienta has evolved with the time. If the previous generation had this design, it probably would not have sold well. Nowadays, Japanese want to buy a car, but they don't have the money. Men are taking maternity leave, and working together is a norm. Yes, we are in a unisex age where people want to save the money. The days when cars were something for fathers to buy and drive are now long gone. Therefore, the design should satisfy both husband and wife. The time has come for cost effectiveness rather than sportiness. Hmm, in other words, the Sienta has been adapted to the times and made into a car that people want now. Conversely, the design may be old after a few years, and as a result, you will want a new car. <laughs> Toyota's design always includes a sense of mediocrity, both good and bad. I guess it's all calculated. Employees. Boss, we made an ugly car. Akio Toyoda. <laughs> so ugly. Uh, let's go with this. Dealer. Let's sell it. Even though it's ugly. Customer. Ooh, ugly car. I'll take it. One of the mystery. Mm. <laughs> mm, I wondered this myself for years, but maybe I felt that way because our aesthetic standards were a step behind. Toyota is always making cars fit the time ahead of us. This kind of, when times change, we want the next one. Hmm, what makes Toyota marketing so good? But on the other hand, I think there are few cars today that we don't get tired of even after years of use. Hmm, personal opinion. Hmm, a business is difficult. Okay, let's talk about the noise level. Quietness is more than sufficient. Road noise is quite low, just a high frequency noise. How can a mass market car go this far? It has luxury feel. The roof is also made with a lot of mastic glue, so the sound of rain hitting the roof is also quiet. But on the other hand, when the engine is started, I'm a little bothered by the sound of the engine starting up. For the safety of your family, let's also check the safety features. Pre-crash safety, lane tracing, and other so-called Toyota safety sense are available on all grades. Hmm, nice for family car. There are too many features to introduce, so I pick up the ones I liked. Uh, proactive driving assist and other driving support functions. This is, hey, a pedestrian might jump out of the way. You may enter a car too fast. You might hit an interrupted car. The system anticipates such may risk and slow down the vehicle. Sober, sober, but great in a humble way. It's important to spend money on these things. It's great, but these things hard to reach the customer. I know. Advanced parking is still very convenient. It's faster and more accurate than doing it myself. Toyota is currently number one for around view display. The resolution and distortion collection processing are top notch. Who made this software? You're awesome. The airbags are installed six locations, drivers, passengers, side and curtains. The NCAP means new car assessment program crash test results have not been released yet in December 2022. The previous generation Sienta has a poor rating for offset frontal collision and pedestrian head protection performance, so resulting in a 4-star rating. However, the use of high-tension steel and the use of impact-absorbing wiper pivot structure seem to have improved the performance. 
in these areas. So it will be a 5 star rating, I guess. Whew. Now test drive is finished, thank you. Finally two Samurai, this new Toyota Sienta. See the day. Young and old, men and women. Times continue to change, and so do cars. The Sienta may seem to be a half of the best of both worlds, but it's the optimal solution for the current era. It will be useful for all people living today. Conversely, Toyota sell it now in the best possible way. If you want it, buy now. High quality mass market family car. Convenience, usability, performance, quietness, and yes, OAs. Usually a popular car is a mixture of A and B rate, but this car does not make you feel any shortcomings. What I can say, it's just like Toyota. Enough for the need, nothing extra. I said all A's, but on the flip side, there is not a single S rating. This is a car that mothers frequently get in and out of in the city, such as picking up their children or doing the daily shopping. It is by no means for enjoying winding roads or blasting down on the outburn. You may think it's not exciting enough, but for the concept, it scores 100 points. Thank you for watching and sorry for my confusing English. I'm trying to improve my English, but if you like this video, please subscribe. Now to daddies and mommies around the world, good job today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.